欢迎收看好玩吧 ，That's well play. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back in Singapore. As you can see, I'm still in my car. <laughs> no, I couldn't find a time to actually to conclude my calling Queenstown. It was really fun. Uh, world's premiere heavy hitters. Um, it's my first world premiere. Uh, it's it felt really great to actually get a feel, get your hands on the cards. Uh, before everybody else in the world. Uh, because pre-release is actually happening this weekend. All right, so uh, there's nothing much to conclude for my calling Queenstown. Actually, um, for day one, uh, supposed to be an eight-round silt, but then uh, I dropped halfway because I lost my first match. I went five rounds and I win two and lost three. So my chances of getting a five-three and still getting into day two is pretty slim. So I. <laughs> Move on, okay, and then I join other events. All right, so that's basically my day two. Uh, no, my my day one. So my day two, I was just crashing other events like bleeds, uh, uh the Ravenous Rebels, uh, special events. It was really great. Uh, gem all the double prize events. All right, so I managed to exchange, redeem the three, uh, tokens in Cold Foil, which is agility, might, and uh. Vigor, Vigor token. So this set is all about these three tokens, right? And also gold tokens. It's a pity that the price world doesn't have a CF gold token, or else I'll exchange uh, a few more. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, in previous callings, calling Singapore last year, I actually got mine. Okay, so, but before going to pre-release seasons, there's a few things maybe I can share. Uh, so I'll take all this series of videos. Uh, the pre-release videos as my conclusion from calling Queenstown and also from the world premiere. All right, so first of all, um, we were very fortunate to be able to crack two different prints, the Belgium prints and also the Japanese print. So how you can tell there's a uh, difference. So the Belgium prints is actually paper packs, okay? And the Japanese prints are actually the plastics packs. So um, the combination of cards within the packs, it's no difference. It's indifference between Belgian prints and Japan Japanese prints, uh, but the sequence of it actually differs. All right, so hear me out, all right? So look at this. When I was break, uh, break, breaking the Belgian packs, so for Belgian packs, first of all, you will get eight common cards straight. The first five cards are the class cards. Means it's either brutes, warrior, or guardians. Okay, in the ratio of two to one, five class cards. So you will always get one shot. All right. Then followed by three hybrid cards, but not necessarily one of each. Like brute warrior one, warrior guardian one, and guardian brutes one. No, that's not the case. All right. It can be all of one hybrid or uh, some combination of the three. All right. So five and three, five class cards three hybrid cards then followed by two rare and above cards is either two rares or one rare one majestics all right then a rainbow foil card with any rarity it can be a common it can be a legendary it can be a fable <laughs> all right as long as it's a rainbow foil version of the cards and lastly uh, the two cards that are not supposed to be in your uh, in your pool of cards. So that's uh, either two tokens or one cold foil, one tokens. All right. So that's the uh, sequence for Japanese cards. Uh, for Japanese pet print, uh, besides the difference of the packs, okay, from paper to plastics, uh, Japanese cards actually comprises of first of all five common cards of the class specific cards, two to one ratio as well. Okay, so a Brutes, Warrior, or Guardians in 2 to 1. Then followed by 6 cards, also common, but it can be Hybrid, followed by Equipment or Generic. Hybrid, followed by Generic or Equipment. Hybrid again, and followed by Equipment or Generic. Okay, so it's Hybrid cards sandwiched with either Equipment or Generic. So you will, from this 6 cards pool, you will, eat, you will get three hybrids for sure and a combination of two equipments, one generic or two generics, one equipment. Then the rest is the same. Two rare or uh, and above cards 
one rainbow foil and followed by the tokens or a CF. All right, so you can see from the video that uh, from the packs that I cracked, so the ratio, the sequence is the same for Japanese uh, is, as mentioned, and it's the same as uh, the Belgian Prince as mentioned. All right, so the next thing I would like to touch on before I break this video will be the equipments. As you can tell, um, there's a maximum of three equipments per pack, maximum. All right, because you might get uh, two equipment, one generic pack, and there are also some equipments in the rare slots. So uh, usually the rare slots, you will not get two rare equipments uh, or weapon. You will usually get one equipment or weapon and followed by uh, action cards. Usually that's the case, all right? So a maximum of three equipments, meaning that if you join a pre-release event, it's a six pack seal you will most probably have a full suite of equipments. Because let's say the minimum was um, like what? one equipment. So the minimum, minimally you'll get six equipments. Okay. And maximum you'll get three equipments out of per pack. So that's 18 equipments. That's any number ranging from six to 18. But average out, right? You will get two equipments per pack. So that's 12 equipments usually. So you should be able to have the full suite of the equipments. So next, let's go into the equipments. Which are better than which? We are taking out the legendary since in still format, in pre-release, you are not supposed to play with legendary equipments. All right, let's get into the equipments. So first of all, of course, if you, you, if you are able to get the rare equipments, the rare equipments uh, are the headpiece which are also uh, hero specific. So they are the specialization cards. So if um, you, get, you get those, most probably you'll be running those as well, all right? So I will value that uh, as the top tier of the equipment that you can get, all right? So that's the first priority, the rare cards. But as I mentioned, there are only two slots per pack that is rare and above. And, be, and between the two slots, only one of them will be the rare equipments. So the maximum chance is six. All right, six chance of out of six packs. If you're lucky, you can get two. All right, or well, usually uh, you're lucky enough to get one. Uh, that's about it. But you have to see whether the, your other cards are also uh, leaning towards that hero. All right, before you jump into uh, using that equipment. All right, now. The next tier will be the common equipment, which has temper. Okay, so um, this uh, cycle of equipments, uh, I value it quite high because uh, it has three values. Because it can block two, then it can block one, right? So these common equipments are much better. If you can't get the rare ones, this will be the best. Followed by the hybrid common equipments. Okay, these equipments, uh, they have a uh, blade break one and also they can create tokens as an action all right like create agility create might or create vigor okay so you can either use it for block but they can only block one so most of them will actually uh, use it as an action to create uh, tokens for the next turn all right then the next tier, the fourth tier, will be the common equipments that has blade break one. When your life is lesser than your opponent, okay, it states uh, this has how many blocks uh, when your life is uh, less than how many heroes. Uh, the total number of heroes that has life higher than you. So in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation, there's always maximum one. Okay. Then lastly will be the adversity suite of uh, equipments because if you can't activate it because it is a conditional um, equipment it will only happen when your opponent breaks some tokens or draw a card so it's very conditional and it depends on your opponent so if that's the case if they if there's no such token broken the block value is zero else it's actually a uh, blade break too Okay, so it's a good sideboard actually. If uh, keep 
in view uh, and then uh, you'll be able to use some of them all right because some heroes can churn out the tokens consistently then uh, the chances of you breaking the equipments consistently is higher all right let's get back to the temple two and one okay it it is also conditional because it's always stated that if you have what token your block value will plus one okay and uh, okay so let's say for this it, it requires you to have agility token and might token then only you will have plus two defense right so you have to take note this equipment can block twice only if you always have two tokens created so at like the first time you have both might and agility right so it has plus two when you block when the combat chain closes it has a plus one it has a minus one counter on it plus two minus one is a, a grand total of one right so it will no breaks but the minus one token will stay bring it back to your equipment slots that counter is still there so the next time if you have only one token might or agility you bring it to the combat chain it will break and it blocks zero plus one and minus one is zero but if you still have both tokens it will plus two right with the minus one counter before the combat chain closes it still has a plus one you can still block for one but when the combat chain closes it has minus two it directly brings from two to zero then the equipment will break that is how the equipment works got it got it all right so it depends so if you do have the mechanism to churn out consistently the tokens the both of the tokens this equipment actually it's very good okay because temper block two block one that's three block value very good all right okay so that's all for now for this uh video we go through the combination the ratio of the cards within the pack uh be it belgian belgian print or japanese print and we touch on the equipment uh that is actually a good knowledge for you to go into a pre-release uh, when it is a sealed event all right so stay tuned for the next one we'll go through some of the loops and uh, some, some of the hoops some of the things that take note if you are playing uh certain heroes or playing against certain hero all right see you in the next video